There is an ancient game depicting a tale about how the era's humanity went through change from time to time. It's called Tao Long. On it, each player controls a dragon striving to defeat the other by diminishing it. Every time a dragon takes damage, it loses water stones. And when its water stone meter depletes, it loses a segment. Whenever a dragon has lost all three segments, it is defeated. Players take turns alternately following two distinct phases. In the spirit phase, the player manipulates the energy stones on the bagua, the trigram wheel, picking a pile of stones and dropping one in each of the following spaces counterclockwise. In the matter phase, then, the manipulation influences the player's dragon, which performs the respective action for the last space in which a stone was dropped. Each space on the bagua represents a different element, and with it, a different action. Sky and Earth are both extremes of the manipulated energy, thus being represented by exclusively straight movements of one or two spaces along the vertical axis for sky and the horizontal axis for Earth. Wind and thunder are the change and the agility. This is represented in the game by a mandatory curve from the vertical axis to the horizontal for wind and the exact opposite for thunder, both followed by an extra turn for the player. Lake and mountain are the serenity and the boundaries. This is represented in the game by a free movement when facing vertically and halting when facing horizontally for lake, and the exact opposite for mountain. At the end of each of these activations, if the dragon is directly facing some part of its foe, it takes a bite at it, thus dealing one damage. This only doesn't happen for fire or water, as the dragon's mouth is busy absorbing something at the time. Fire and water are in the middle of the Bagua, thus representing volatility and power. This is represented in the game by a free movement, whichever direction the dragon is facing, followed by a manipulation on the fire and water stocked by the dragons, which can be by absorbing or expelling. When absorbing, the player takes a fire or water piece from the environment to their dragon. When expelling, the dragon attacks. Both dragons struggle against each other by attacking, blocking the way moving through portals and seeking dominance. At the end, there can be only one, that is, at least until tides of change come once again.